Welcome back everyone. You know it's really important to understand how many lumens you need to light a particular room in your house. I spend a lot of time at home improvement stores and I see people buying lighting and all they're looking at is the date, the design. What does the light itself look like? They're not paying any attention to the type of light output it's going to have, whether it's the lumens or even the Kelvin color temperature, which I'll touch on again at the end of this video. But it's really, really important to understand when you're planning your, your lighting plan for a particular room or when you're buying a light fixture that you know how many lumens you need and then how many lumens is possible with the light fixture or the light bulbs that you're buying. So for example, if you're trying to light a kitchen, a bathroom, or a garage, you might find that you'll need anywhere from 60 to 80 lumens for each of those rooms depending on what it is that you're trying to accomplish there. So kitchen, it's a place where a lot of tasks occur and you need lighting. You're chopping things on a cutting board, uh, you've got people standing around and, 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 you're, and you're wanting to interact with them and you just need a lot of light in the room, okay? Same thing about a garage. So I've got you know some fluorescence at the moment overhead providing a lot of light in this garage. Forget about all the other lights here just for the camera, but if you've got a garage and it's, and it's essentially a workshop for you and not just a place where you just pull a car in and walk in the house, you're going to need more lighting, you're going to need more lumens. And the, a bathroom too is very important where you might have um, a, a situation where uh, you're, you're a woman and you're applying makeup and you need a certain type of lighting and you're cer a certain amount of light in the room. It's very important. I've stayed in hotels where uh, the bathroom is so poorly lit without enough lumens that I can't even see what I'm doing if I'm shaving, which I didn't do today. So. Um, again, lumens are extremely important and in the past and in still some instances today when you go and you shop for light bulbs, for light fixtures, people are used to looking at watts and not the lumens, which is really the wrong way to shop for, for light bulbs too. So for example, a, uh, if you remember shopping for let's say a 60 watt bulb, you know that would yield about 800 lumens. And by the way, I've got all of this information in an article that I'm going to link to down in the description and also in the first pinned comment. And um, if you're actually watching this video on the article, because I will embed it in there, thanks for coming to the website. And I'm sure you'll enjoy the rest of the content here. So like I said, a 60 watt light bulb is going to yield about 800 lumens. Okay, And that is the same uh, output you'd get from about a 12 watt LED bulb. Okay, so um, you know we've got some more information. I think another video I created about the difference between LED and incandescent bulbs. So um, now let's get back to uh, how many how many lumens you need for a particular room. So let's say uh, a bedroom. Okay, bedrooms typically don't require as much light, and you have a lot of lamps and different things happening in there. You might get away with um, 40 lumens per square, foot, per square foot as opposed to what I mentioned before in the uh, kitchens, bathrooms, and uh, garage of you know 60 to 80 lumens and that was per square foot if I forgot to mention it earlier, per square foot, not just total room. Okay, um, if like I said, a bedroom will require less, a dining room, maybe just a little bit more up to 40 or even 50 lumens per square foot if you're lighting the table but then you've got a little mood going on in there too quite often on chandeliers in a dining room you'll have a dimmer so you could actually adjust that to make it what you want which is a good thing if you have an office where you need a lot of light on your desk you might either light the room with recessed recess lights providing yourself with maybe 50 lumens per square foot and then add some additional lighting on on your work surface with a lamp that'll finish it off for you okay uh, your hallways in your house you're not going to need that much maybe 30 lumens per square foot because all you're looking to do is just provide enough lighting to guide you down the hallway uh, in the evening okay so hopefully this provided you with what you're looking for as far as an understanding on how many lumens now color Kelvin color temperature 
is the thing that I was going to come back to, which is another important aspect. So um, the, the higher the color temperature, 5,000, 6,000, 4,500, for example, that is going to give you uh, a different type of light than a 2700 or a 3000 Kelvin temperature, which is a softer, more yellow color versus the higher numbers, which are more blue, even though it doesn't look blue to the naked eye. Um, you could have the same lumens, but the two different color temperature uh, bulbs, for example, will give the appearance that one might be brighter than the other, even though they could be the same lumens. So this is why you have to pay attention also to the col Kelvin color temperature and you might need more lumens on a 2700 uh, Kelvin temperature bulb than you do for a 5000 uh, uh, color temperature bulb. So hopefully that makes sense. Anyway, if you have any questions, just please, please leave that in the uh, comments down below. I'll definitely get back to you. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a great day.